Here we are again, and uh, this time just a really quick one on some more advanced uh, editing features. Have you ever wondered how to edit one of those partial screens? And by the partial screens, I mean the menu screens. They're what pop up when you select one of the soft keys. So, for example, if we select F plan, we see that a menu pops up and it compacts a screen on the right hand side in the IEFIS. Now we can't do anything to change how this menu appears, that's all coded into the EFIS software itself, but we can change this screen to whatever we like. And we do it in exactly the same way as the other screens, as the, the full page screens. So we're on this page already and if uh, we want to edit this all we have to do is go into the uh, design mode and start doing it. So in design mode here you'll see now it's um, it's selected this uh, partial screen. We need to select a module as per all the other screens they tend to be divided up into flight modules, engine modules which is this section in the middle and fuel modules which would be this section down here and uh, we can edit uh, any or all of those to be what we like. So the flight module looks pretty fine there. Let's say I want to uh, edit the fuel module. So we go to design custom, sorry, we will go to select default fuel module because I'm going to edit the default one, which is the one showing here. And I need to select the right one, otherwise it'll switch over to whichever one I have selected. Now the one I'm displaying here is um, is two tanks with fuel flow and fuel pressure. So two tanks, fuel flow and fuel pressure is the last one here. And I'm going to continue and there it is, it highlights that. And now it draws up all the items on the, uh, the left pane of the designing module box. So I can go ahead and edit whatever I like. Um, so if I want to, for example, um, I want to make those uh, fuel gauges a little bit narrower. I don't like them. They're line bar graphs. So I can select on this one, find out how wide it is. And I want to just slim it down a little bit. Let's make it 20. I'll hit OK. I'll do the same with the other ones. We'll slim them down to 20. And this is the virtual tank. I'll slim that one down as well. Now in the process of doing that I've obscured some of the writing so I'm going to change that. So those are uh, just unitext, the universal text. They're just fixed words or labels. Uh, what I'm going to do is instead of making them uh, black and on the the background of the fuel gauge, I'm going to just drop them down a bit and make them white. So to change the text color, I need to change the foreground color. So I'm going to change that to white and. I'm going to drop it down a little bit. Move it across. And let's just say I'm happy with it there. This one here, I'm going to do the same. I want to make sure that these are exactly level. Remember I can go into each of the properties and just check that Y coordinate and that'll check that they're exactly level. And let's do the same with this one. Move that down a bit. Oops, too much. And across. And let's just say I like it like that. Now, that's the uni text. These numbers up here need to shift a bit as well. So, 
These are uh, called text special items. So uh, in the item library it's a text special item which means it's a uh, a figure which changes. Um, so it, it's a reading of a gauge or a sensor and uh, we'll we'll pick these ones. So we've got uh, fuel level 2, we've got fuel level 1 and uh, we've for virtual fuel level one, or we've got uh, Ardac one fuel level one. So let's do that one first. Move them across so that it's all lined up. And obviously, you can uh, you could even delete the items on this page and start again, um, and you know just do a whole new one. Uh, you can make it look however you want. All right, and the other thing I'm going to do is I want the fuel pressure gauge a little bit further over to the right. So I'm going to uh, find where that is, which is analog arc fuel pressure. Now I've got a few things there. I've got uh, analog arc fuel pressure. I've got the text for the fuel pressure and the units here. So I need to highlight each of those and move them across by the same amount or easier I'll just hold the control key down and I will highlight all of them I'll right click and go to screen move items and I'll shift the whole lot over all at once and I've missed one but that's okay I can fix that I'll go to that one and I just moved it over that much two clicks 20 pixels and there we go that's separated them out a little bit I don't know, let's just say I like that arrangement a little bit better um, that's done so I'll close out of this and there it is now whenever I bring up uh, our menu page that will be reflected on all of them so that's a default that I've edited. Remember what we do with default screens. If we do a new set of default screens, just to rehash on, on what I've mentioned before, the way we get them into the actual IEFIS is we need to go to design mode. Uh, we need to go to defaults, create defile.bin from current defaults folder content. So that will include those edited defaults we've done. And it'll, uh, create that file containing all of those screen files and then we need to uh, grab that out of the simulator screens folder drag it across to our SD card uh, and take the SD card out plug it into your IEFIS and just use the file manager to drop that defile.bin into the screens folder in your actual EFIS display. And then you will have a new set of reduced size screens to your taste. Easy.